But hello and welcome to the Weekend Review for Module 7. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there. Uh, and you're you're all finishing very, very strong. So I know it can get a little exhausting, especially right around modules, you know, 5, 6, 7. There's a little fatigue that sets in, but uh, all of you are doing, uh, you know, very, very well. So let's talk a little bit about last week. Last week, of course, we had the midterm. And uh, looking at the stats on the midterm, uh, overall, you know, pretty good. It was a little bit lower than midterm one, but the average grade was about right around 89%. Uh, now, I did do that statistical analysis on those questions, and there I did have a bad question. Only 39% of you got the question correct. So usually that benchmark I use is 50%. If there's any questions that are kind of, you know, 50%, uh, of the class got it wrong. I kind of really look at that, and this one was really, you know, at 30, you know, 39 is was a bad question. So I threw that out. Everybody's scores were, uh, even if you got the question correct, to be fair to you and to skew you upwards as well, um, everybody was floated up by two points. So those points have been adjusted in there. So, and I didn't do a re-averaging, but I guess with the with that correction for the bad question, we probably would have averaged right around 90, 91%. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's definitely a high, you know, a, a nice solid B. Um, and we did have some students who scored nearly perfect. Uh, we had, a, I think, about three students who only missed maybe one or two questions. So <clears throat> very, very good job overall on the exam. Um, now, uh, talking also about uh, last week, Module 6, we had the uh, my favorite paper out of all of them <laughs> is, the, I think, the Pareto Principle. I love it. You guys did a great job with the Pareto Principle paper. Um, you know, most of you really dug into that. And uh, I think it, if you go away with anything from this class, it is, you know, that Pareto Principle, that 80-20 rule is something you can use for the rest of your life. So it is, it is really a nice little tool to have in your toolkit. Please go back and look at the feedback for that. I did my video feedback again. Uh, so each one of you have a customized, you know, two to five minute video where we're walking through your paper. Even if you received a perfect score, I would recommend that you do go back and uh, look at that feedback. Um, sometimes I don't take off for minor things. I won't take off any points, but you may want to have a heads up if you go into other instructors who might take off two, three, five percent for some of those things. So do go back and look at that. And again, um, I do add some additional comments in as well. But overall, I was very impressed with the Pareto uh, paper. And uh, also all grading as of like right now, <laughs> if you handed your stuff in as of today, uh, we are all caught up. I know there's a few of you that are catching up on assignments. Uh, you know, please hand those in, even with a deduction on points. It's definitely worth it to do it. Um, and also, uh, the other thing that you can do to make up points if you're calculating your grade and you're realizing, well, eh, maybe I got a low B or a, um, I got a high B and I want to try to go for the A, is this. Let me get my picture off of here. I've added some extra credit to the uh, to the mix. So um, take a look at that. Uh, part of our Mercy Corps values and tying those into healthcare, healthcare finance. It is a very simple paper to do. And all I ask is that if you do do it, uh, and I see that one person already has, so they were quick. Uh, and I have uh, kind of got a preview and already did that. Uh, but do have that in by uh, the end of the course, Sunday at midnight. If I calculate your grade and um, I notice that you have a B and you did, you know, maybe you need those extra 25 points, I'll definitely look at that extra credit, see if it brings you up. So uh, do have it in there by Sunday at midnight, module eight. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Module 8 <clears throat> coming up. Well, Module 7, let me just finish that up. Module 7 that we're in right now is kind of your standard module. So nothing, just, you know, kind of our normal, same old, same old. You know, you're going to do your paper. You're going to have your learning activity, you know, that, that kind of thing. We're talking about uh, debt financing, leasing. So take a look at the leasing video that's in there this week. Um, I think this is kind of this chapter or this module and the next module on strategy are really kind of hopefully tying everything up 
for you together and probably some of the biggest takeaways that you want to have from the class are really coming up in these next two modules so um use this week to prepare for week eight so week eight module eight is not that stressful for you module eight will um of course your uh the paper will be due the affordable care act paper you'll have that we still will have a topic essay too so i mean that could be a lot of writing if you don't if you kind of wait to the last minute you're you know all of a sudden doing six seven pages of writing in a week so try to knock out or hopefully you've been working on that um the affordable care act uh, you know financial management and the affordable care act uh, paper. We've kind of been talking about it all along, so hopefully you've got a good start on that, a good draft, at least a good outline of what you're going to do. If not, this is a good week to start. You know, definitely start this week, and then you won't be in any under stress uh, for next week when you hand that in. Also, kind of heads up, you know, with Module 8, we will have a final exam, too, so which will um, heavily pull from Exam 1, Exam 2. So go back to those exams, review them, look at them. Um, and then, of course, we've had some extra content since then. You know, modules uh, 7 and 8 will be kind of mixed in there as well. So um, kind of do a little bit, I'd say, additional work this week to kind of make it easier for you so you can end the course, um, you know, relatively stress-free. I'm sure you've got other – if you are taking other courses, they all kind of culminate in some of these major activities. Hopefully this one won't be so difficult for you. Just with a little bit of work, extra work in this week, I think you'll be fine for module 8. Now, again, we're going back to grading, if you're seeing any missing assignments uh, that you have turned in, let me know. Send me a text. Or if you're turning in a late one, let me know so I can go back and grade it. I will ultimately go back and look at the grades, uh, the drop boxes, and see if there's anything that I've missed. Again, as of right now, I think every assignment that's in the drop boxes has been graded. Um, all of the quizzes, or I should say the midterms, have been adjusted for bad um, bad questions. So I think we are up to date. So that is pretty much it for the weekend review for module seven. And as always, thanks for watching.